So I woke up this morning with the notification saying I have a new YouTube subscriber. And of course that makes me very happy to wake up this morning to see my YouTube channel grow. I logged onto YouTube and I have a total of 610 subscribers. Then I do something that I always do too obsessively is go into YouTube analytics. And there, to my dismay, I see that the actual subscriber count is 602. That's eight less than it should be. So hello and welcome to this video. If you don't already know, my name is Jabir and I'm a final year PhD student at University College London. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about chasing numbers an external validation. So what I realized was when my subscriber count goes up, it makes me very happy. However, when it does go down, and it does go down quite a lot, it makes me so unhappy. And this constant up and down feeling happiness tied to something else external that you have no control over, it really is detrimental to my health and also your health. As humans, we love to chase numbers, we love to chase progress, and Emotionally and physically, this can be very, very hard on ourselves. The biggest and probably the most abundant example in this world is people chasing money. So for example, if we talk about the UK, people are chasing a higher salary and a higher wage. This means that they will be able to afford more things. They think they'll be able to afford more freedoms. The more money they have, more things they can buy, the better houses they can buy. And we all think that it will bring more happiness. However, in recent years, I have discovered that chasing, chasing numbers is a losing game. There is no way to win in chasing numbers. For example, if you're a salary on £30,000 in the UK per person, that's actually enough to buy most things in terms of renting a place, in terms of food and some luxuries. However, as humans, we always think that we need more than that. We think that we need to own a property. We think we need to have a mortgage. We think we have to have a certain amount of luxuries and 30 grand a year is not enough. We'll be happy when we reach 60 grand a year. And then when we get to 60 grand a year, we'll be happy if we can keep going up and up. And this numbers game is always gonna change. No matter what figure you are at, you're always gonna think you're gonna be happy at something else. The grass is always greener on the other side. And it's a very detrimental way of thinking because we're seeking external validation, these things are not necessarily in our control. You might think that it is in control to increase your salary year on year by being a better employee, by doing more tasks that produce money. But the thing is, we're always going to want to seek more and more. So with YouTube, I've seen that, yes, of course, I want my channel to grow and I'm very passionate about my channel to grow. However, I can't let the numbers, the amount of subscribers, the amount of views make me happy or make me sad because that is not up to me. It is up to YouTube to decide on how many views something gets and how many subscribers something gets because ultimately YouTube can take away views and they can take away subscribers and I do not want my happiness and my fate to be relied on something external. This is quite funny because I live my life seeking no external validation. I am happy with what I have but I always seek to better myself and better those around me and that's my main goal and my main values such as the video on values that I did the other day. I'll probably link it up somewhere around there. So there comes a time where you just have to stop stop seeking the numbers and external validation because you're just gonna delay your happiness. The thing that I've realized in life is happiness could be the hardest thing in the world to achieve, but also it's right under our noses. We can choose to be happy and we can choose not delay the happiness because we'll be happy when we reach a thousand subscribers. And then once we reach a thousand subscribers, we wanna reach 10,000, 10 million, 100 million. It just never ends. Another example that is quite close to me is renting versus buying. Buying a house, of course, is something that we all strive for these days in this economy. However, it's incredibly difficult to buy a house. In fact, most people's wages aren't enough to ever buy a house in their lifetimes. However, renting is something that is quite simply done and a lot of people do it. So when you rent, you actually kind of own the property for that month. It gives you a place to stay, gives you shelter, one of your basic human needs, food, water, shelter, security. So of course, most of us in the UK can afford food. Shelter is probably the most expensive thing, so that's housing. However, a lot of us are unhappy when we're renting. This is really, really bad to delay your happiness because when you're renting, you might have it in the back of your head that I can't be happy in a rented place, I would need to own my home, but really you're throwing away your life. It's funny because I watched a film yesterday called Old in the Cinema, which is really good, but essentially they go into an island and they age very, very rapidly as something around 40, they age 40 years per day. And it has just got me realizing that, and even in the film you'll see that at one point they just realized that everything else they did, didn't matter. All the time that flew by, they could have done it differently and they kind of, kind of regret like, not being happy in the moment. So that is literally the take home message of this video is to be happy in the moment, to not delay your happiness, to stop chasing numbers. From now on, 
I know it's very hard for me because I just want to see my YouTube channel grow and grow and I know you lose a lot of subscribers. In fact, in this year alone, I've lost more than 130 subscribers, but literally I have to stop thinking like that. All I can do at my end is produce videos that you guys are going to be watching, you guys are going to be supporting and new subscribers will be coming along and subscribing. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I really shouldn't matter about how many subscribers I have because I have started a YouTube channel around six months ago. I've posted twice a week and I'm really happy that I have this platform where at least 10 people will listen to me. And continuing that, I really should stop worrying about subscribers. I have stopped worrying about money and stuff like that because it really just doesn't make you happy. You have to do the best you can do per day and you can't control external factors. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you have taken something away from this video. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe to my channel because I try to provide as much value to you guys as possible from the lessons and life lessons that I've learned along the years. Please like the video because that really helps me. And as always, thank you for watching.